I had had a bad back injury and after that my life spiralled out of control and become suicidal to be honest. Um, I tried to take my own life and the aftermath of that then just turned to drink and drugs and just went completely off rail and was trying to find a way to die without it being suicide really. Mikey's story of depression and PTSD isn't unusual, but what is different is what the Afghanistan veteran has achieved as a result of it. For three and a half years, the former soldier has been lugging stones up a Welsh mountain, two or three at a time in back-breaking journeys. And this is what he's built, Wales's newest castle. Do you know what I notice when I come in is the smell. Yeah, we've got um, two fireplaces. This is the big main one. And we've also got the log burner in the corner. It's the most beautiful thing to look at. Um, so when you started off, you didn't quite know what you were doing with the dry stone wall. That would be very fair to say, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was all jagged edges. Not a jagged edge in sight anymore, but three and a half years ago, Mikey didn't set out to build a castle. As a way that a lot of people have bad days and just having a safe place to go to that's peaceful can make all the difference. And just wanted to recreate that for other people I knew who worked for me and hope to, yeah, push it out. And it just kept, you just kept going? Yeah, it just started this little cabin first and then made like the gym and the flat areas. But um, yeah, I was, it got a particular point to be honest where I was going through a bad time myself and I just came back up here, started collecting stone again, made a big, big, big pile of stone and then somebody asked me one day what am I going to do with it and build a castle and... <laughs> and you did? Yeah, yeah. Three, two, and just one, as Mikey seven. envisaged, his castle is helping others. Luke is also a Royal Welsh veteran suffering from PTSD. He has been helping with the build on and off since the start. It's like a, it's like a mecca, really, for, for veterans. Because you come up here and you're around a veteran that's been through a lot. And if I think I've been through a lot, then maybe I'm not alone in thinking that because I'm going to hear another person's story and they're going to tell me when they were in Ireland or when they were in Bosnia or when they were in Iraq. And it just makes me think about my, fee my feelings and my problems. It just doesn't, I don't, I don't feel alone, like, you know. But Mikey's help goes further than the castle. He set up a community interest company offering courses with qualifications like dry stone walling to help veterans rebuild their lives. I think Mikey understands as and the, uh, how it feels to uh, be in so much difficult um, situations and so much pain. And he, he would like others to sort of gain the opportunity to, to move forward rather than be stuck in a cycle of negativity and, and uh, so constant sort of self-sabotage, which is quite a common thread through um, veterans who are struggling. And it isn't just veterans who enjoy coming here. Local families visit too after hearing stories about the build. The impact it makes is everyone that comes up here, there's no judging, there's no differences. The only thing there is, is a standing, uh, you know, it's a sense of unity. Mikey's project is almost complete. He hopes to be done by the end of the year, but the impact of his castle will go on long after he lays the last stone. Claire Sadler, Forces News, Monathus Lewin Mountain. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.